It's a good vibe. I got this like great. We don't have. We don't even have an album cover yet. You want a fucking top notch, beautiful burger place that you don't have to ask to get your shit put on your burger, uh, tomatoes, lettuce, and sauce, <laughs> and that offers combo. <laughs> In and out Burger. Yeah, I said it. In and out Burger fucking rules. I, this is the official seal of approval of In and out Burger. In and out Burger fucking rules. You hear me? In and out Burger fucking rules. I don't care if you like Five Guys, but if you have the option between Five Guys and In and out Burger, In and out Burger is the place. Cheeseburger and French fries, maybe even a drink. Six, six fifty maybe? I don't know, quick me, but that's a whole bunch of stuff more compared to Five Guys. If you're a spice lord like myself, they got jalapenos, dog. Just go be like, uh, may I have some jalapenos on that? And they go, hell yeah. <laughs> and they know, they have it. Long story short, Five Guys, eh, in and out, fuck yeah. <laughs> All right, whoa, coming down to the line, baby. Coming down the line. Tie up those loose ends, uh, make sure everything's good uh, and groovy, you know, and tight and raunchy, you know what I mean, Gene? But we opted for five guys. <sighs> Don't go in there, Doug. Oh, it's bad, huh? <laughs> well, it's okay, but the price is where it kills me. For, for only being okay. Yeah. Oh. Like, Eight bucks for a cheeseburger. No fries, no drink. Isn't that pretty ridiculous? That's like um how much? Eight dollars. Yeah. <laughs> I mean I don't mind paying for an eight dollar burger, but it better mean I'm at Disneyland. So here we've got the we only made three hundred copies of the score to the boogeyman. This is number two hundred and twenty-eight. Oh my god. This is the That looks beautiful. That's the Halloween four score. And a Halloween 5 score. A golden idea for you. Okay. <laughs> you take a fart of yourself in here somewhere. Somewhere where it's like recording stuff. And... I just did that. <laughs> Go ahead. I literally like, I just today, posted an Instagram photo last night when I was here at 3 in... Or the other night when I was here at 3 in the morning. Well, every single day. But don't... You don't mention the studio... Maybe once in a while, but there's a link you can have. There's one link you can have, a link in bio. And if people get interested, like, who's this interesting guy? They go down the rabbit hole, bada bing, maybe some business. Plus you get to get like your, your ideas out, like this is a XYZ shirt, XYZ pants, I got it here, got it there. And um, these crazy glasses, you get to show them off. 50 jackets. 63. <laughs> 63. That's 63 photo opportunities. <laughs> I know you like to talk and, and you're very passionate about your clothing, so. I am, but I just, I generally assume that nobody, nobody really cares what I have to say. No, 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 no. You're a very interesting guy. Uh, well, I appreciate that. <laughs> Something, honestly, I know this seems weird. I need something that's absolutely bonkers insane for this. It's not insane enough by a lot. Got an idea. Not bad.
got to do what you want for yourself and not worry about how you can take it. But, but, you think they're going to see this as like, oh, cool, it's like Stranger Things. That's what they're going to say, right? Ooh, I love Stranger Things. That's okay. I know. I, I'm saying that's okay to me. As long as people associate it with something good, I'm okay. Something good and positive. I think what you'll have to do, you might, you got an idea for artwork? I do. What is uh, it? What do you think? Well, no, no, no. I'm asking what your idea is. I'm saying if you take it a little bit, a little bit 80s-ish. Like, oh, yeah. Is it? Okay. No, because if that's if that's true, then it'll make it a lot easier for me to go in and look at everything through the lens of something like Stranger Things and songs yeah. like this that I didn't think should have a bunch of synths. I'll feel fine to do it. It's a good vibe. I got this like great. We don't have. We don't even have an album cover yet. I'm creating that in my mind, figuring it out. I think some some sort of green. I'm imagining green. Some sort of green motif. Um, love green. So like. Good. I hope you guys do. Just try to figure out. It's like you just gotta find that right key, then turn it. It's like it's, it's there. We're in America, god damn it! Anything is possible. <laughs> um, it's true. Ghosts, dude, they're popping hardcore. Yeah, that's true. They they're are. horror. They're like doing what we're doing. But they got the masks and all that cool vibe going on, you know, uh, classic, uh, what, what was that movie? Um, they didn't care about me until I found the mask, uh, kind of like mentality. Because they, uh, Was it Spider-Man? I don't know. <laughs> Spider-Man, Batman, something. I guess you weren't a superhero guy. But, um, singer from that band was in all these other bands. And they just found the right key and... some more fucking rocking guitars. Cooper is driving with Ray. Hey, this sounds familiar. I think those samples are just, the samples are called Penderecki S, and the composer who made this song, his name is Christoph Penderecki. Christoph Penderecki? Christoph Oh, Christoph. I mean, the name, the name of the song is we know the for the victims of Hiroshima. I think he wrote the song in the 60s. Oh. It's an actual real song. Oh, wow. They use it in The Shining, too. Penderecki's songs are used all over The Shining. I just love that you're watching a mild-mannered episode of Twin Peaks suddenly go back to the first atomic bomb ever detonated. <laughs> Doom is done. I think King Prowler's done too. Did we do extra guitars on King Prowler last night? No, yeah. And then it's done. Good
some feedback. <laughs> <laughs> Just I got a lot of work done. Nice. So, all right, let's go. Nice. Until tomorrow.